Hey, it's Sean the Vinyl Villain here. I know it's been a while since I put out any of my Digging in the Crates videos, so I'm gonna come back with that series. The only difference is instead of showcasing just one particular album or artist, I'm gonna go through a few records that I have in my collection instead and basically give you a little bit of information on them in hopes that you too will get some enjoyment out of them. So, the first record that I have here today is by Liz Harris, who went by the name Grouper. This album's called Ruins, and it's a phenomenal album. It's super quiet, super peaceful, and melodic. I used to put this on before I go to sleep, but then I also found myself putting this on when I was hungover on Sundays, too, which is very useful as well. I believe Liz Harris recorded this entire album by herself on like a four track and a Sony recorder. What's so unique about it is on the final song called Labyrinth, at the very end of the song you hear like a microwave beeping. And that was actually her power kicking back on because she was recording some of this through a power outage. I'm assuming she had batteries in her recorder, but <laughs> to me that kind of embodies this record because the whole thing basically feels like you're in a power outage because it's such like a quiet record. So to have that at the end of the record I thought was really unique and, and really cool on her part. And yeah, Grouper Ruins, check it out. This is Martin Denny's Exotica. I found this record in Tucson, Arizona at a record store. I've been looking all over for this record because I collect a lot of these sort of tiki style sounding records. This was his first record that he put out after he got back from World War II, he moved to Honolulu with his wife. He started up his own sort of house band at some of the bars, and they would play this sort of exotic Polynesian sounding music. And what's kind of funny about it too is like there's one dude on here that just makes parrot sounds throughout the, the record, and I thought that was kind of cool. I remember in an episode of Mad Men, uh, Don Draper pulling out this record and I recognized the sleeve, so I, I had to look into this. Apparently the model that you see on this front cover was used in almost all of Martin Denny's album covers. She's actually an actress uh, from the 60s. She was in Some Like It Hot, and then I believe she was in some episodes of The Twilight Zone, among several other television series at that time. This type of uh, music was really popular for that time frame. You'd see a lot of these adults putting on these kind of lounge records in their house, hosting little parties with uh, cocktails and stuff. So <laughs> I thought that was a really cool record. This is Alice Coltrane's World Galaxy. This is a really beautiful record. Alice Coltrane was the wife of John Coltrane and she played the harp. I believe she put this record out after John Coltrane passed away. And this was, you know, a new form of jazz when they had everyone from Miles Davis to Herbie Hancock changing the sound of jazz and turning it into fusion. I don't know if this would be listed under jazz, but it was kind of the same sort of thing. Like, it was very cosmic sounding. And you kind of hear that in today's modern players like Mossy Washington's uh, music as well. I just love everything about this record. The artwork on it and the music, it's really beautiful and it was all arranged by Alice Coltrane herself. who was actually the aunt of producer Flying Lotus too, if you don't know. I'm sure everybody knows that, who knows her. I also have Switched on Bach by Wendy Carlos, formerly known as Walter Carlos. I got into this record after watching A Clockwork Orange in high school which she also did the score to. And she also did the score to The Shining and I believe Tron from the 1980s. This album came out in the late 60s and it was kind of like a trendsetter for composers to basically take popular music of that time and re-envision it on the Moog synthesizer. Wendy Carlos actually was one of the first public figures to come out about undergoing a sex change in the late 70s, which was fairly new at that time. Yeah, this is a really fun record. Like, it just reminds me of the main character of A Clockwork Orange walking through that record shop in the movie, because you kind of hear this re-envisioned classical music played on a Moog synthesizer, which I believe a lot of these guys thought that that would be 
today's modern sound in the future, right? I guess it kind of is in the sense that, you know, a lot of electronic music is popular amongst the youth, but it wasn't quite the same way that they envisioned it back then in the 60s and 70s. Finally, I'm gonna showcase one of my favorite records, Donuts by Jay Dilla. What can I say about this guy? This guy is one of the greatest, if not the greatest hip hop producer of all time. Jay Dilla passed away after being diagnosed with lupus in 2004, 2005, I don't have the right date on that, but this guy had produced with everyone from a tribe called Quest, The Far Side, Janet Jackson, D'Angelo, Common, you name it. Instead of just sampling a four bar sample and just looping it over and over, he would basically take samples and chop them up on the MPC to the point where they were nearly unrecognizable. What's so cool about this record too is he basically created this while he was in hospital. He requested that they bring his MPC and a record player to the hospital bed. He put the majority of this album together there, which is crazy. Like this guy loved making music and it just sucks that he's not around today to see the change in hip hop. I don't know if he would have still been a part of it, but I think his music is timeless. This will always be like a classic record in my books. I think you should check it out. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this edition of Digging in the Crates. Let me know if you like these videos. I know it's a little bit different from what I was doing before, but I can get through a lot more albums that way, and you at home can check these records out too if you like them. Anyways, bye. <laughs>